Everybody. Welcome to the week and welcome to Good Things. Woo woo. We are here back live at WLBS Radio and the Listen Vision Live Studios right here in D.C. And we have been gone for one week from the desk, but we Has are it back. Has only been a week? Well, technically two, but they missed okay. us for one week. But well, We've been gone for a minute, but now we're back with the jump off? Uh, DJ Wilfo. DJ Wilfo, are you going to jump he us off? I know, because we... we <laughs> We having some difficulties. <laughs> you know what happened, DJ Will? What happened? We tried to pretend like it was like we could go out on a Sunday. See, recover. On I a like Monday. how you keep emphasizing Sunday because it doesn't matter what day we That's try true. to go out. That's we true. never. That's true. <laughs> We're in bed by ten o'clock. Sunday night fun makes Mondays so hard. Mm -hmm. Real hard. Hence why we have. T-shirt time! Woo! I love it. I think I'm going to wear a t-shirt every week. I think we should wear t-shirts all the time. Well, we'll see. Then I'd have to buy more t-shirts, though. Send us yeah. free screen tees. We'll wear them on camera. Yeah. Well, what really happened, the truth, everybody <laughs> out there, is that we have probably been, like, beat all weekend, right? Yes. Yeah. And yep. we've been Busy. fashion shows and events and you had like a couple of pageant events mm -hmm. and so it was just like too much going on and yeah. so we needed to bring it down a, so y'all get t-shirts y'all get t-shirts so <laughs> <laughs> right tonight you get t-shirts and jeans or stretch uh, pants. you know me barbie's I'm... got on stretch pants so. i can't i gotta be able to work out she looks no matter like where spice, i am girl look at her hair <laughs> I'm, ba baby I'm sporting spice. baby spice tonight. Her, her shirt I love says, it. Ariel, Cinderella, Snow White, Jasmine, and me. There you go. Disney princess. Basically. Yeah, they didn't yeah. know it. Your Wait. shirt says, allow me to explain why I'm right. Mama. Accurate. Yeah. Basically. Mine says, yes. please don't make me do stuff. <laughs> I'd be tired, y'all. All accurate. I'd be so tired. <laughs> what would you think? All accurate? All accurate? Yeah. Accurate. accurate. Okay. Teddy, I, I was like, bear. what What does your t-shirt say? I just got a polo. Oh. There you go. I got to keep it clean Paddington. Classy. Paddington. Yeah. See? DJ so Willful is, so he's, he's together class. too. Clean and class. Paddington's so cute. Well, I love Paddington. That's we, the bear that talks, right? With the little book yeah, bag? Yes. Yeah. Likes marmalade, that kind of thing. He likes you know. marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Is there a difference between marmalade and jam? Or is that the same thing? I don't know. It seems similar to me. I think marmalade is orange flavored jam. Yeah, I think there's oranges involved. Okay. okay. So we, we're getting we're, we're getting, getting confirmation yes. throughout my the room. This yes. might be accurate. Yes. My kid eats peanut butter and marmalade sandwiches instead of peanut butter and jelly yes. sandwiches. Yes, that's he does. very that's weird. That's the only reason I know. Yeah, you shouldn't tell anyone that. Well, especially not before high school. No, but he likes you, it. It's okay. It's all right. It's, it's all right. You gotta have a little embrace sweetness. you, boo. Be different. Right. Don't you eat that jelly? You eat that marmalade. <laughs> and speaking <laughs> of embracing you and being different, you know, first of all, shout out to. Rode the agency. Oh, yes, Harley. Yay. Shout Good out Harley. to Harley Morgan. Um, mm -hmm. Indie Fashion Week. Cycle 8. Cycle 8, D.C. Um, last night was amazing. I Phenomenal. really, 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 really tried to get you guys a little clip. Um, I was working on it actually like in the car on the way down here, but it was not understand. trying to download. It was probably close to Monday morning when we left. Right. And we all, we got jobs and children and husbands. That's a lie. We a all lie. don't have jobs and we all don't have kids. <laughs> I know. Some of us, one of Guilty. us has a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have job, children, and husbands. Somewhere in Between there. Between the three of us, we got a job. What? I have a husband. Okay. 
Well, it was a lot. We really it tried. balances out. We it really does. tried, but we had a good time. It was a, it was so a fun. phenomenal. So, but next week we will have highlights from the show, and it's actually probably good because they haven't really put out a whole whole lot yet. So I don't want to do too many spoilers. Yeah, um, we got a little spoiler. We had a ton of designers though. Oh, oh, my oh gosh. yeah, that extra model. Yeah. I, I haven't gotten my paycheck yet. But she comes in and she's like. You know, I'm like looking at the models like something's missing. Like none of them have blonde hair. I'm missing you, Leia. Well, and she got an impromptu call up. But let me tell you, um, bitch worked the runway. So he was good. He was good. Yeah. Yeah. Leia, Leia, I don't know her alter ego, but whoever she is that walks (laughs) runways is not the same person. She needs a new name. What's her name? Her new name is If You Stay Ready, You Ain't Gotta Get Ready. Because she had no idea they were going to call her up. No. And she was like. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Walking. Let's go. Let's go. Here it is. And we met some fabulous people. Um, Hi, you know, Jan. Jan, Jan Duplain. Was so sweet. We have she like we're her. just just it was just a really good night, and I it was hard. The name of the rappers that did the performance, but y'all remember when the the guys were performing live, and Jan got up and she started yes. yelling in the crowd, and, and I could not crazy. get my video camera out enough. So I know somebody has it on video. Uh, the greatest is when someone it. came out to me and they were like, "Was that your mom?" I was like, "Just because she's the only white woman in here, you think that's my mom?" <laughs> I was like, no. She wasn't the only white woman she in there. There was like, she oh. wasn't. But I was like, and she was like, well, she's blonde. She was so that's they were like, she was silvered. You are silvered. But silver hair. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. so funny though. Because she had that soul. I, sh- she had a lot she of was, soul. It was yeah. probably because she, she got up and started dancing. It, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody went crazy. That's like, probably why. That's why I couldn't yes. get on camera because I was, we like, was like, oh yeah, get it, yeah, get it, get it. The greatest it. today. We had too much fun, DJ Wilfo. You guys. The greatest is when today I was on my Instagram and you know all these people are following me now from the event last night uh, and this one guy's like I was so excited when I saw Miss America Caramond and I was like <laughs> I'm not I was like first off she's brunette I'm blonde and I'm pretty sure she's about your height probably yeah she was well like, you know queen was in the building right it was a telephone game it didn't matter I was like I'm not mad it's okay Miss America but we made some great oh and Tevin. Oh my gosh, Tevin we made with, a new oh, Tevin. WUSA 9. Hey Tevin, hey boo. Hi Tevin. Tevin, I'm sorry I didn't show up for work today. That's not unlike her though. Tevin got me fired from Good Things DC. <laughs> he called out my social media skills and then I said, you get me fired, I'm going to have to come to work with you. And he told yeah. me to come in at 2 o'clock, but I forgot. Well, she it's didn't okay. forget. We got, we're going to help it out. But thank you, Harley, for always yes, embracing yes. good things. You know we love you. Um, the baby was and there. And the baby was there. Victoria was there. Was there. Yeah. Keisha oh. was there. Everybody was there. The family, mm-hmm. the entire family was there. And it was a wonderful showing. Um, it was pr- my first fourth indie fashion show um so just, just they did a really good job yes. of how many designers they had and how many the models diversity the of the looks well right and then the turnover i mean it was pretty quick there turnover wasn't a lot of for as many no no, no the timing no. was perfect no. yeah the models yeah. did a great job cycle three so you've yes. seen i've seen a lot and i've seen the evolution and just everything come together not just from uh harley and harley's team but even the designers and just they're just they're bringing it so Mm -hmm. you all i know that you know dc is probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you all are thinking about fashion and fashion week but dc is getting on the map and some of these designers that you guys haven't heard about killing it yeah so watch out for them but we're going to bring you more about that next week we're going to bring you some clips we're going to bring you some highlights and make sure that you get a chance to see what we saw Except, and, for those, uh, except for those dresses we're going to use. <laughs> we're not showing you those. We're you stuck. know what else? They had a sponsor there. Massage Envy was there. They yes. were giving out free massages. Yes. And then the guys on the mic were like, please, go get the free massages. Like, don't forget to get I the know. massages. It was I, great. We didn't have time. We, we didn't, didn't have We was time. working. It was okay. It was but, great. you know, Shout we are... Um, Y'all we, can come here and give us massages. Well. Want. While we're on air. I was like, while we're on air? Yeah. That, that would that. work. No, it won't. I would just not talk. I hashtag, hashtag Wex 2018. <laughs> that will not Y'all are work. Haters. That will not work. But DJ Wilfo, yeah. you know what? I think when we come back, I think you have a little something for us. And since we kind of celebrated a lot of fashion, I think we're going to um, talk a little bit about yeah, it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, I don't know if we should be scared or not, no. but. I'm nervous. Okay. Well. He's we'll see how it goes. I know. He, he has to keep us balanced. Well, yeah. he, he keeps our zen right in place. But The yin to our yang. Absolutely. But you all stay right there. Stay in your place because Good Things is going to be right back and we're going to kick it off in about three. We'll see you.
What's up? He ghosts in. And he in ghosted ghosts us. Out. We yeah. try to say hello. And Where then are he's you, like, Jeremy? Oh, there he is. Hey, boo. Hey. Hey, boo. Hey. It's Tina. Don't you want to come on the show? Don't you want to come say hi? Come along, you bearded wonder. <laughs> looking at us like, what are y'all doing? We love Jeremy. You got a t shirt. You do. You, you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeremy. There he is. That's Jeremy Bieber, <laughs> owner of the station WLVS and ListenVisionLive.com. What's, wait, wait, wait. What's his alter ego? Is it DJ Boom Boom? It's DJ. No, it's no, not. it's not. Don't listen. Please to him. don't. DJ Boom Boom, y'all in the building. Yes. DJ, DJ Boom. boom. <laughs> oh, DJ Boom. Just the one Boom. <laughs> this is the shenanigans that happen. So what happens when we don't sleep? Well, it's Monday Fun Day. Monday, it is Monday, Monday Fun Day. Monday Fun Day. Yeah, yeah. One of these days, of fun. I what? think we're gonna have to have the men drive us, and then we'll just get drunk on the show, or just have them do the show. <laughs> Shot, like, okay. He said that's like every that's day. <laughs> just like, poor, poor Doctor Sill. Of the husbands is here. Doctor Sill like, is always here. It's credit. the other two. <laughs> They're holding it down. Brian, step your game up. It's all right. Well, to be fair, yours has a child. Mine just doesn't have any of that. (laughs) Well, you know what? Speaking of men. Games and children and playing and what? DJ Willful. Yes, ma'am. You know. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. It's been a week. Let us chat. I know. I feel like. How was your week? My week was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yay, yay. Kim. Oh, today was a good day. 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 I have a t-shirt that says that. Situation here. You know what my favorite part about Monday is? What? Not going to work. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Well, we have some things to look at. I think we have a lot of work because, um, well, we have the runway fashion. We do. Last night. We had the runway show. But I think. Leia, you've done what? We got some more fashion stuff, right? Absolutely. Oh, is Absolutely. that what we're doing? Yes, I think so, we're but we're going to play wait. a little game, guys. We're going to play a game. We're play g- game. So this is going to be our first time kind of playing the game with DJ Wolfel, right? Well, yeah, sort of. So, DJ. I mean, it's one of the first segments we ever did on the show, right? Uh-huh. So good thing, not a good thing. We don't have paddles today, right? Hmm. No paddles, but... How am I going to know if it's a good thing or not a good thing? Though? I have a feeling that Should if I do we right had... hand, left hand? We, I don't think we're going to need them. They, How look, about the, they look the hand, same. Good hand, not good hand. Good thing, not a good thing. And if it's real bad, just praise Ooh, Jesus. Why don't we just turn our chairs? <laughs> <laughs> All of the boys just turn around. Yeah. All right. Well, what, what, I don't know. What, what are we dealing okay. with today, All DJ right, Wilfo? Right. So, ladies, so tonight's good thing, not a good thing is focused on art. Okay. Right. And as we know... 
art. Art can be a beautiful thing, right? It, right. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. It's the eye of the beholder, right? Right. It's the eye of the beholder uh, thing. Yeah. Who's but, holding it? Who's holding it? <laughs> How much did it cost? I don't know. Maybe it's beautiful if it costs a lot. I don't know. Oh. Right. Um, sometimes but sometimes art can go very, very wrong. Very expensive touch. Art can go very, very wrong as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought in honor of the time at the Indie Fashion Show uh, this weekend, we could appreciate another dose of art that you may not have seen on the runway. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Spell it now, I'm trying to get in my Chuck Woolery voice, but I just can't. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Chuck Woolery. You need more tequila? Chuck Woolery. Come on, man. Love connection I, I and all that stuff. I don't know who Kids. you should have said, like, Alex Trebek. Uh, Alex or Trebek. the dude from um, Children. I mean, Children. the dude from oh, uh, Will Children Fortune. Here. Pat Sajak. Right now. It's all right. I got you. I got you. We were barely born right. in class the 80s. Of, class of 95. Come go. on, Pat. Got you. We got you. Pat Sajak. There you go. All right. All right. Okay. Yep. So let's start in 2016. Okay. When art attempted to imitate life, specifically designer Rick Owen, when he de- debuted his vision of oh human. Oh my God. No. No, absolutely not. No. I hate this <laughs> so much. <laughs> okay. So, first, can anybody else see the outline of a stain around her booty hole? Do you see it? <laughs> like, there is definitely like a little bit of brown there. <laughs> Look you, at my face. You see it? <laughs> oh, my God. Look at <laughs> She looks mad. Yeah. Like, well, you would be like, mad if somebody was farting in your face. Why you with yeah. somebody's asshole in my face? Yeah, you would be mad. I'm, I would be mad. I'm not doing she that. She like, has a headache. How many, like, how, how many people did they have walking like this? A lot. Too many. Not just her? Not just her. I don't like it. No. So right. this I mean, uh, a human harness. A you, human. you know what? This would be like a very good sex swing, though. Mm. No. Why not? Mm. Puts her in the right position. Not really. I mean, oh, she's a little low. We can <laughs> back her up a little. But I mean, I don't know though. So I don't know what she's doing. You also have two. There's two women, two equal height. I think with a taller guy and a shorter no. girl. Is there, maybe, maybe. I mean, is there a better? No, there's not oh. a better. Girl. Okay, see Look why? Look how red she is. But wait, wait. Look at that. Like all the blood is. This is a bad thing. This when I was not. carrying my little infant son on my <laughs> chest, as a warm father will do. <laughs> And my baby this Bjorn, okay. when he was about maybe 20 pounds, he was my lower back was screaming at me and saying, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> right. So I'm trying to figure out how this cat like, weighs about like 110 pounds, carrying another 110 pound person. How does that work? They how, just look their back so must be screaming. Sad. They just you know look what, emaciated. DJ yeah. Wilfo, like cocaine can make you do a lot of things. <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> this is so true. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is all bad. We're keeping the cocaine going. I mean, oh, hi. I particularly like the Jesus sandals though at the bottom. Mm. You do? They look very orthopedic and comfortable. <laughs> so oh, only I she would like see that. I, orthopedic. <laughs> well, I guess. Well, I you know, I guess the thing about this is that if we wore those, these two wouldn't be walking down the street last night with their shoes off. True. <laughs> True. That happened. Why would you tell look. them? Why would you do that? It's okay, because mom did it too. So That's I'm true. comfortable if mommy did it. <laughs> It's My okay. Mom call me and be like, "You was barefoot on the sidewalk. What's wrong with you?" I didn't it was clean. Like that. It was clean. It was pretty clean. It was okay. It as was far as sidewalks go in DC, it was clean. <laughs> we had napkins on. It was okay. Little bad. Well, they're lying. Okay. To you. What year did you well, say this was? This was 2016, but we're gonna move on. Oh, okay. To 2017. Gets, so, so please this, tell me it gets better. Well, we'll see, oh. right? So we're going. <laughs> so when it was all about being environmentally conscious and recycling was definitely at the forefront. We didn't see of any of this okay. last night, y'all. You please believe in trust. We didn't. We didn't see none of this. Well, I would have just threw my cup on the runway. <laughs> I'm just no. saying. Like she wouldn't have got hit. Wrong. It just would have came. <laughs> if this is like sun right resistant, hang out her head. this is going to be like every white girl's best friend. No, this what? could be like sunscreen. Like you're just wearing like a something that just keeps the this sun away from sunscreen? you. That's not sunscreen. Can I just say I there is saying. one very, very small detail that I like about this look. If we can just pan down to the sock purse. Mm. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. not a hundred percent mad at the sock. I purse. am so mad. I love it. Wait, you know what? She I probably got her it. coins. Red in light. Her literal coins. <laughs> they got X it. on that though. You know why? That looks like a new sock. Is it? it it's not Come like, on now. That's what not happens recycling. if it gets dirty? <laughs> Do you, really. you can you change it out? Now, you know what that is? That's the sock that the other sock got lost okay. in the machine. Oh. That one's clean. It's been oh. worn before. Okay. Okay. It high doesn't high. have a partner. that. I don't have a partner. Okay. That's okay. Okay. My only question Recycle. is, well, my only question is, how many whales did this outfit save? I'm just going to stop right there. <laughs> oh, my okay. gosh. All right. All I'm going right. to end it right there. I'm all okay. about this. All right. Nine. So 2018? 2018. Designers stepped up their game 
We'll, we'll, we'll move on. Listen, but we're going to just move on. We, we, need we to, just going to go to 2018. We're going to go to 2018. That's another 2018. So designers, designers oh, stepped up their game while asking you to step into the real life version of Monsters Incorporated or SpongeBob. No. Depending on how you squint. Don't you owe. Oh, and this. <laughs> no. I mean, Wait but here, this could Wait solve a gosh. really big problem. Like, what if problem? you. Ugly people. Like, you just make them wear those. <laughs> <laughs> if if oh, her man. face is a butter face, it's you a can't eye. Really That's tell. what I'm saying. If she has great She's legs, but right her face. Now. Well, yeah, then you can. She's got a mouth on her vagina. You can just put the eye on her. Her vagine is her vagine. What is that? Oh, that's cute. I like that's that. That's cute. Yes, what is it? Yeah. Is? What is wrong with that's y'all? It. That is it. Now. What is wrong with both of it's you? Like a minion, like okay. a pretty minion. Here's the thing. I really like. This her is not okay. <laughs> no, you know what's okay about <laughs> that? I'm tired of getting ready. So if I can wear an eye out and still show off my legs, like I'm good with this look. Wait, wait, but this one right here. You yeah. could, you could, this is a two in one. I'll tell you why. Okay, why? If you are laying with this, you you are doing your oh. thing. It's a BJ slash regular old oh, sex thing. Oh, I didn't think of that. At the same time, yeah. But you go in the mouth and between. So the it's things, the visual. Man. It's the visual. The vi- yeah. yeah. You know, this could really oh. do some I things. Do I do wish know. she had a better set <laughs> of falsies though, because her lashes. I'm trying to get creative. <laughs> Like, girl, you needed some wisdom. But what I can't are her Wait. arms out in the same color, or her arms in it? They're out know. in the I same think color. Those are her same arms. Color. Those are her arms. She just Your real shirt. white. So, yeah. Oh, she's like my she's color. Yellow. <laughs> great. Yeah. Great. So perfect. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So wait. So far, so we, we got, got not a good thing. Not, not a good thing. thing. Not a not good thing. thing. I don't okay. think we're kind of a good no, thing. No, I the porcupine was kind of a good thing. No. No. I want the sock purse. No. I mean the recycling. Like I'm she's the cleaning recycling. the planet. Oh, like, yes. That is a good thing. That's I'm environmentally this. friendly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the sock. What is that? It's trash. trash. That's what I'm saying. Trash. Yeah. I want to yeah. explain something to you. Why about are you sock on purse. this sock purse? But let me just tell you. So you put your coins in there, and it's a purse. You know it's gonna stretch out. If you're walking down the sidewalk, remember that man last night? <laughs> I was like, hmm. you can just beat him upside the head with your sock purse because you got a lot of coins in it. It's a weapon. True. No. No, it's no. gonna start to sag, Britt, and then it's gonna right. look like the saddest like a nylon saggy sock is better than a it's saggy gonna look tea. like the thing that's it's gonna look like a used wear, condom. Like the, yeah, the sock. What thing that strippers wear? That's got, saggy. Sock. It's gonna look like the, a used condom. That sock. It's just gonna thing. just. Wait. The sock thing oh, the, male strippers. The, yeah, the oh, sock thing. Oh, yeah, I was, I was not like, going what there. What strippers wear that's saggy other than titties? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. I was not going there at all. Male strippers. The male strippers. Okay, yeah, okay. You don't want that. You, you've no. got to lead with an M. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, is there anything for the what current year? All right, so, so for 2019, I'm going to have a, have a like some sort of, let's just go to 2019. Okay, okay. we're ready. Okay. Boom. What's cool? Um, five sweats. What you think? I th- uh, they just woke up and was like, I don't give a. To be fair, I feel let like me just put everything on I got. <laughs> I feel. I mean, but I, I forgot my shoes. That's like a pirate feel at the bottom. I, I kind of want to buy this for my mom because she's always cold, and I'm tired of tired of hearing about it. I just I have how can you be cold with seven sweaters on? Questions. What is over her head? I'm That's sorry. Like question number one. Can like, we zoom it? Like what is it on her face. head? I don't know what's on her face. Well, DJ Wilfo, can you figure this out? What is what's happening? Uh, well, there's a white scarf. Oh, oh wait, and then there's the it. tassels. Oh, it's the, it's, it's the, like the tassels yeah. from the scarf that are hanging over fencing. her face. What's the like? It's what's for fencing. Oh, the, that's if the. If she has a foil, a person across who has a foil, you know, fencing. Oh. you know, you put your hand right. up. Right. I mean, I but wear the that. Face. Can no. we pan down a little bit to her <laughs> boobies? Because I just feel like what boobies? So, yeah, like the ones that are tied so tight, like the titties is like ow. I don't okay. know where her titties are. Um, I'm right, because they're so smushed. Yeah, I they're can't not see there. Anything. They're not there. Okay. But it looks really comfortable. It so looks it's going to be uncomfortable. A, it's, I think it's going to be this a how yes. We're in 2019? Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a it? yes for uh, me. For you? See, okay. Yeah. Well, this, all, right. this is it. it Tell me. It feels like yeah, nothing else for us for 2019. In order to do no, a nothing. good thing for oh, God. 2019. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Britt and I could fit in that together. Wow. All three of us. Wow. We can just switch heads. I can see Kanoe's well, little just, head. I would like the armhole. But I think I would have to be in the middle because yeah. I'm the tallest and then you two yeah. little people. Could, but could you yeah. imagine some jackass getting on Metro with that? Yes, yes actually. <laughs> yeah. His Absolutely. His is popping though. Yes. yes. I'm just saying. I can see some. Okay, so here, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's hanging out? Of, it kind of looks I like. Am, I am determined. This is what we needed. To do the positivity of all of this. Nope. Ain't none. Yes, it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have found. I, I told you that is my That's new. Cute. That is go cute. to. I'm gonna be positive. So you, you guys think I'm you know kidding? What this, you know what this Wait. tells me, DJ Willful? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Everybody has a an distinct. eye and a distinct way mm. of expressing themselves. Indeed. And to show Indeed. those things <laughs> that mm-hmm. you know maybe uh, inspire them. Mm. You know, they have muses. Get, this is get exactly what Absolutely. Kenosha says get when Brett and I dress Absolutely. ourselves. Shut up. <laughs> This is true. How, Y'all don't know how many times we have dressed ourselves and it's gotten vetoed. Yeah. But that's why we always that's look okay. so yeah. cute because well, she's because amazing. she tells us. Yeah. Well, I have, a, I have an idea. I yes. mean, you know, why don't we get go bold next week? Why don't we all pick an outfit from this and wear bread? Yeah. Okay. Just kidding. Uh, I mean, I know which one I'm we picking for you. We could show up with eyes on our head. I think they might I, stop watching. I feel like if the eye was a little hat. No, like Ugh, a little church no. hat. I, I think we gotta go, go, so go all the way or go yeah. home. I'm telling right? you, it's like we wouldn't have to do makeup. <laughs> DJ if Will we just not, wore the eyes. I wasn't being serious. Yeah, that no. is it. That is my new going out wow. Friday night. <laughs> no one's gonna hit on me because they don't know what the hell I look like. <laughs> Done. No, they're all going to circle like, around you. Legs. That's like some Daft Punk. That's true. Right? <laughs> but you know, you got, you got some people out there that this is like their thing. This oh my is gosh, their so I could audition for the Masked Singer. There you go. You know, because I don't That's like perfect. to sing when people are watching me, but I can oh, put oh, on yeah. the thing. I've then... never seen that show. I keep hearing about what? it. Is it good? I mean, it's the right. best show is ever. It? I can't really And when they announce the winner, I like cry. I'm, I'm not going to tell you who it is. That's okay. blasphemy. Are they yeah. famous people though? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I so keep I singing like, well, but who is no the one that you would who ever is the peacock? Think. Really? I the just, peacock? I can't oh, get into peacock. it. But you know what? No matter what you like, guys, embrace yes. you, Absolutely. love you, Absolutely. love all parts about you, and of course, love everyone else that's what we're about here at good things what's and beautiful uh, to you is yes. beautiful to you and, absolutely and no don't one worry else. about what anybody else <laughs> no we have fun we have fun with it yes. but really it's just a little light shade it, it is. is no okay. harm no okay. harm no okay. foul but we'll be right back with more good things and but you know what where are we we are at wlvs radio yeah Dot however come monday nights at 8 p.m but Y'all know y'all love us. Y'all want to find us on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays and Fridays. That's and a lot of days. You can find us mm-hmm. all over the place. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook at Good Things DC. Instagram, I told y'all we're now Good Things DC on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Instagram, guess yes. who got their very own Instagram? <laughs> brand new. Brand what? new to the IG scene. Except for the cap. At DJ Willful. <laughs> yes. Follow. That's why I kept seeing you all yeah, over Instagram man. this yes. week. Yes. I'm like... He's brand new to the scene. Like little infant he on got there. Groupies, y'all. I like it. Uh, it's weird. He joined and he's like I immediately mean, like I got 20 followers. Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We're, they're going to have some more. We're going to have some more from DJ Willful because what you guys Absolutely. don't know is yes, yeah. we love to keep him here and close here at Good Things, but he is actually a DJ. A and real he can actually. So you're saying he has other people? Yeah, he life. can actually like you know do oh. your events and things like that. So we approve that. Like for him to have other people. Well. I guess. Put in his contract. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have some, um, I guess, some clips soon, right? Yeah, we're going to have some stuff that we can kind of preview. Thing. Yeah, that you guys can preview. We're going to put that's it on. Cool. Well, of course, it'll be on DJ Willful's Instagram, but mm-hmm. we'll have it all over right. Good Things as well. So, so you guys can DJ do that. DJ Willful. Yep. That's where you at, can find him. Yep. At Good Things DC is where you can find us. YouTube, goodthingsdc.com. Y'all all know that. where we at. Yep. We'll be right back. Yeah, we will. I've always had problems with my love handles and my lower abs. I was never quite able to get rid of that, that excess body fat around that area. My abdomen area after having children. No matter what I was doing, I couldn't get it to look the way I wanted it to look. I had a son who's just turned four, and I'm older now, and I started getting the belly fat that wasn't going away with doing exercise. No matter how much I changed the diet and how much it worked on my body, the problem areas remained there. I couldn't take time off work or anything and didn't have time to really recover, so it was really important that this was something that you could keep moving on with your life. I came right from work, came in, had the treatment done, the 25-minute treatment on the on the four different areas, and literally, uh, when I walked out the door, I drove right back to work and picked up where I left off. I like the idea that you know it's not invasive. I, I want something that I can 
come do it and go home and go back to work without any issues. No downtime. The process didn't require any anesthesia, no pain medication. It was easy. It was great. I mean, I actually, I think the first time I actually went, I didn't go back to work. I actually went to the gym. I've personally have had uh, and seen really, really good results. My first month, I noticed that my flanks were going lower and lower. This used to be a size 34, uh, 36, no, 34. <laughs> my stomach is flatter, it's more smooth. I feel better, like I, if clothes fit better, they're not touching you the wrong way, they're, you know, hanging a little looser. After the procedure, I definitely feel more confident that it, there's, there's less of me there. My brother definitely noticed. I didn't tell him what I was doing. But my brother, he's like, are you, you know, are you trimming up or something like that? Are you doing anything extra? I said, no, I'm just, you know, doing my normal thing at the gym and things like that. I'm proud. I'll lift my shirt up and show everybody my belly. <laughs> I'm very happy um, with making the choice to have the sculpture done. And it's a good feeling, too. I mean, finally getting the results that I've been looking for forever. And if you're a guy who cares for himself, then you want to do it. I mean, there's nothing to do. This is not just for women. We do it because for once, uh, we have the technology available and I think that we should take advantage of that. I would um, rate my success at the procedure a 10. It was very positive, I'm very impressed with the results, and they have exceeded my expectations, definitely. Hey everybody and welcome back to Good Things and welcome back to the week. We are here, right here at WLBS Radio in the Listen Vision home. Live Studios. Home back is where home. the heart is. Second yes, <laughs> second home. But mm -hmm. you know what, something that um, I think, you know, we're probably going to end up talking more about this on a later show. But I've been hearing a lot about kind of this topic and it's funny because uh, Cell and I were at a concert and <clears throat> shout out to... Uh, Probably not watching, but, you know, we'll hashtag him anyway. <laughs> Shout out to Duelle. We actually saw him. He was here at the City Winery oh, cool. on a Saturday night. Really great show. Mm -hmm. um, I think also that's why I'm, I tried to go out I was and like, party you like out two nights, nights in, in a row. row. Yeah, we can't Still, do that. Still, you should Your know body better. was like, come on, girl. Right. He was, but he was like performing on tables. Um, oh, those of you who don't know who Dwelle is, he's a neo soul artist. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, brought his whole band. The band was spectacular. Um, the whole night. What was did actually... you think of City Winery? Because I love it. Oh, it was great. great. It was yeah. Great. Now we had a little. Mm, we had a little issue with the food. Uh oh. Oh well, I didn't eat when I was there. Well, the problem wasn't so much the food. It was just that it was a really big crowd. Mm -hmm. And then and I think, yeah, yeah, I just mm -hmm. think that the kitchen was very Not overwhelmed, yeah. um, and so, and it was a, it was a, it was a more mature crowd, and mm -hmm. so people were ordering entrees and not just drinking and mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing. So I just think they were a little overwhelmed. But the ambiance as a whole and everything that was there was really great. Mm -hmm. The show was magnificent. But awesome. something that he mentioned during the show, and I, kind of a little bit that um, a topic that I would like for us <laughs> to kind of touch on is, you know. Have you been told that you are maybe the one that got away? Nobody's going to tell me that. No. Mm -mm. Mm. They're probably thinking it. They're probably like, thank God I got away from her. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're like, it? thank God her crazy eyes didn't come out. I'm like half and half. Well, half yeah. Half of them like, that bitch crazy. Shut up. Well, the reason is, is because I You married Brian when you were like 11. Right. Well, that's true. We had, a, there was some time in between. Yeah. Where we could both get it in with other people. It was wow. like when they were 12 and 13 and then they came <laughs> back at 14. <laughs> Who you going with? <laughs> Do you like me? Yes or no? Or are you too crazy? Yeah. That, right. That popcorn love. Yeah. Right. But, you know, the thing is, is that the reality of the situation is that we all have, we all have lives and, you know, whether it's like, you know, adolescence like or early adulthood, right? You were probably the one that got away. I'd probably um, want to keep you. A thousand percent. You're yeah. the one that got away for at least like. Yeah. Because you're always two? so nice to mm -hmm. people and you make them feel good. And Wait, I don't make gotta, people feel good. You got to share this story <laughs> about how like, I think when you, was it when you and Syl were first dating mm -hmm. and you were like, you better come on because you're not the only one that <laughs> wants Well, you know, I was in a and small. He was, like, was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Come on. I was, in, I was in a small area, but. The, the truth of the matter is that I think that when you, when you're a person who, I didn't operate in, in, in large circles. And so I think that's also something. I that's think my you, problem. Yeah. My I, circles I mean, were so big. big. <laughs> I was in very small circles. And so, and I was, I was never that person. It was funny because I always looked back and was like, you know, I don't know if I've, maybe, 
maybe once, and I still can't really qualify that 100%. If I've ever like gone out or dated someone who I didn't know through someone else. That's how oh, small okay. Kenosha's circle is. She's literally mm. like, I'll only date you if I know somebody else who knows you. So yeah, I need that six like degrees a, of separation. Yeah, yeah. some kind of warm or less. introduction. Yeah. yeah. And I think, but some of that I think is just also where I grew up. And some of that was just an organic thing that was there. And yeah. so I think a part of this kind of happens, I, I think, to people who probably tend to be in that arena, in the same type of arena that I was in because you tend to operate in those same circles. And so you're likely friends first, right? Mm-hmm. Same friends after, right? And so there's always that. I really, I wonder if, <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. I only dated because I was hungry. Yeah, and I just right. didn't want to pay for dinner. That was every me night. in college. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I could not tell you how many ugly dudes. <laughs> I would Meanwhile, I was Mine were all very like, attractive, but I was, I was like, ugly, no, they were no. super cute. And I was like, well, you look good for a photo. <laughs> but <laughs> you nothing, my nothing's going to go past. Yeah, I take my picture. Right? But you I mean, well, I mean, it's like, I guess, and I don't know if this is more of a female thing or mm-hmm. more of a, like, our female to male, I'll, okay, let me back up. Male to female yeah. or, may, or female to male. I, I you know, I, I feel like I hear more males say it but this is this is my ideal mm. of why i think more males say it i think mm. because of the fact that we're men awesome. haven't matured well men haven't matured yet yeah. at yeah. certain they ages they let stuff get mm. away whereas yeah. women are mature and we yeah. when we see something that we want right we want it we want it right. versus right. men they they don't grow jay's the one that got away you know I mean? for so many he, like this right. girl when mm. he was moving to kansas city wrote him a damn letter and put it in his glove box and i was like are you kidding <laughs> no you can't stay friends with her like no no one writes letters and sticks them in their car like right. it's just unacceptable well i mean but what do you think i mean do you think it's that it's uh, i don't know it's tough it's a tough call like i've never um I don't know. I've never had any of my former friends tell me that they, you know, wish they were with me. I don't know, cause I don't, I don't, but on the but on the flip side, I haven't done that to them either, right? Right, so, right. I don't know. It's, I, it's I mean, I think it's, it's a tough. very well, well, and I, for a group of happily married people. Well, and I guess I bring it up because, like, for instance, so at the concert, Dwelly actually was talking about he he was like, I have this song that I wrote because you know I was in. And he's not married yet, I don't believe, but he's like, you know, oh, I had so. a long relationship, and at some point in <laughs> You're time. Not. Oh, You're I'm not. married. Yeah, yes, I'm good. married. But Happily, yeah. you know, I had this long relationship, and but it was at a time that I was a little mm-hmm. bit younger and mm-hmm. wasn't really at the place where I, you know, I really could appreciate what was there, but then by the time I did, yeah. it's too gone. late. Typical, yep. Dwelle. You're typical. Well, <laughs> but yeah. my thing is that you know some of that for me is kind of like a That's oh cool. well, I'm sorry because I do get the fact yeah. that you know hey. The maturity factor is not there and it's that Gotta on devil's advocate that's probably a good thing because right. probably it would have ruined the relationship mm-hmm. sure. and the friendship and everything else so yeah. well i will say this just as a quick aside um are I you friends had, with exes no no i'm not yeah but i've had girl i had young women at the you know when, when i was in college and so forth that turned me down Later on, a step back and was like, "Well, well I want you now." Yeah, but yeah. But it's too late. I was like, "Well, right, you right. know, you, you had that ship is sailed." I mean, right, you know, right. Not, you know, yeah. Well, you once. Jay, <laughs> Jay was the guy who, like, he literally, when I met him, was friends with every ex he's ever dated, and probably their cousin's sister on Facebook. <laughs> and I was like, now. and see, and I'm what? not, and, and I guess I'm not that kind of a person. Like, yeah. I'm not like friendly, Bob, with like everybody. Like, well, if I don't know yeah, you. Yeah, like, I'm too. not. Yeah, I'm not I said. Too. Staying friends with your exes is like keeping in touch with your kidnapper after they've let you go. I agree. Like, watch. Why do you need that? <laughs> right. What? You don't need that negative energy. No, but I... but what, what he said is, is he was like, baby, I always like them to see how good I'm doing. You know, they can check out my photos <laughs> and my hot wife. And I'm like, what? There you go. Right there. And that's, a, I, to that's me, funny. I think that's kind of a typical yeah. guy thing. Because I think as women, like, I, like, I, yes, I have had someone say, you know, I wish I was ready for you when, you know, when you, because I would have pursued you. Sorry mm-hmm. about it, sir. But I don't think I've ever been like, but see, but for me, I'm it, like the response is yeah. like, okay. Sorry about it, sir. Because my thing is that that I can't even take my mind back to a time of where I was mm-hmm. at that particular right. time mm-hmm. to even say, 
Oh, okay. Well, would I have even, right. you know, entertained it or not? Absolutely. I don't even know because mm-hmm. I can't go back to that Absolutely. that time mentally. So that's why, you know, I don't can't know. Those what ifs. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I and think that's Jay's a personality. Point, you know, talking about like, oh, I just keep in touch. I want them to see how we're doing. I feel like everybody secretly, like, if you're friends with your exes on social oh, media, oh, you're gonna look at their shit. Well, but oh, that wow. that is the that yeah. would be the reason why. The thing. Like, yeah. oh, okay, right. you want to be, you want to see what I got going yeah. on. That's right. Go right on here. Look at my yeah. beautiful family yeah. and my husband and my yeah. great life. Like, come on, yeah. watch the know. show. Yeah. You missed. Mm. I, that's that's social media. Social Petty. media though is deceitful. Petty oh, over here. So I, I, I love it. it. Because <laughs> everybody on my social Brady media thinks my life is so. I mean, my life is great, but like my social media life is. It's Perfect. on point. Yeah. <laughs> like people are like, you're living large. You're like, you have no idea how large it is. Well, you know what? I think, you know, this might be a topic too for maybe we can bring in someone later on, get a little yeah, relationship yeah. expert, have yeah. a little round That'd table talk and mm-hmm. talk about that a little bit more. But we're going to have more good things as soon as we come back. Hello. Stay Woo-hoo. tuned. I can't not say woo Hi, I'm Gwen Whitaker with Green Fair Organic Cafe here in Herndon, Virginia. We are a restaurant with a purpose. Green Fair is one of seven organic certified restaurants in the country. I opened the restaurant with the goal of allowing people to eat their way to good health with whole plant food, which is fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, and legumes. We work with local and seasonal producers of produce, so our food is going to be more nutritionally available. So Green Fair meals are free of added salt, oil, and sugar, things that get people into trouble. We actually do a 21-day Kickstart Your Health program that's done by PCRM, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. We give classes, education, and 21 days worth of meals so people can lose weight, reduce pain and inflammation, and eliminate medications. So in addition to the Kickstart, we also have lectures from doctors and nutritionists. We host documentary every month where we have dinner and a movie, and we have cooking classes. And we're trying to change the way people interact with their food through community, education, and delicious food. So come join us at Green Fair for an event and an awesome dinner. It's Monday, yeah, it and is. we're almost done, which we I cannot oh, it's gone by believe. So fast. I know. The hour flies. But before we go, you Are know you, this is terrible for me because I'm not good at this. Adulting. But adulting, yes. <laughs> but specifically having rules on social media. <laughs> well, you know what? Before anywhere. we talk about the rules, so listen, we're gonna have a little three-part series, I think, because about adulting. About adulting. Yes. Is there any way that I could not be part of this series? No. You need okay. to be on the sidelines taking notes. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, the thing is, <laughs> let me is get that my pad of paper. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it short and sweet, but we're gonna cover a couple things. So we're gonna start with something real easy. You know, social media, which I like to call socializing, mm-hmm. and really? you know. But we're going to get into some other stuff that's probably going to take a little bit more time. But this is the easy one. That's pretty easy. Yeah. What to do and what not to do. <clears throat> the golden rules. Oh, yeah. Golden rules. Okay. Now, listen. Golden rules of adults, right, mm-hmm. on social media. Some of this applies to kids, too, because kids are on social media nowadays. Right, but we're going to talk about the kids later. But I mean, see, some of you adults ain't got it together either. Well, which is, okay, so if you look at Facebook, so Facebook has climbed to 1.59 billion yeah. users. And this is as of 2016. Right. So it's and that includes so your grandmother and your mother It's higher now. than that. Yes. Right. So now it's, I mean, an annual increase of around 17% per year. Yes. And then you look at Twitter, which has 310 million monthly active users, yeah. and they post... 347,222 times in an average minute. Jesus Christ. Mm. 
Like, what are we doing with our lives, people? Nothing. Posting I don't even know Kenosha's online. hair color anymore. Because well, I only see her on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, we're going to have five tips because these are the things that you guys need to make sure to remember not mm-hmm. to do. Okay? okay. All right. Number Brett. one. Treat them like birds, okay? Internet trolls. Don't feed them. I Ignore love them. feeding the trolls, though. No. It's so fun. We ain't got time for that. The trolls literally... Uh, you are an adult. Yes. Just, you ain't got time for that? Mm-mm. Boo. Mm-mm. Actually... No, you don't. Even I, if you don't have a job, Leia, you don't have time for that. You have no that. time for that. No time for this. <laughs> but if Number Jay two, will argue with me. No. <laughs> Number two. Don't post or rep. This should be like duh. Uh, yeah, but is. don't post or repost anything illegal. I but I feel like mm-hmm. we need to tell some adults this. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't get yourself. I don't care how yeah. funny it is. What you think somebody else be- really needs to see? If you got a question mark behind it, don't post it. I don't ever want to go to jail due to social if media. Stitches get stitches. Why would you snitch on yourself? There you go. Ask is yourself. That a riddle? Oh. I was like, is that a riddle? Yes. Think about it. Kind All of. right. All right. Don't repost. Scam. Ain't nobody, nobody wants that. Although, if they're videos, they're very entertaining. But, but don't. don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Because somebody's going to come after you. Okay. Think about the fact that what you are posting will be seen by other people. Mm-hmm. Think mm. about how it might make them feel. For example, your boss or your co-workers. Mm. Or your mama. Your parents. <laughs> Think about that. Your really spouse. Am. Yeah. Your child. Because they're the on social media forever. more than you. More than likely. Doesn't yep. go away. All right. Be so, mindful. last one. But not least, no. Don't make this again. I got the two does, <laughs> but don't make your private data public. But I won't say a total does because some people don't understand. So you're that saying I shouldn't put my address on Instagram. You shouldn't put your address, but you know what else you should probably be aware of not doing. What now? Everybody likes to talk about like their vacations mm-hmm. and oh, what they're doing. Yeah. Don't put leaving tomorrow <laughs> at this time. Getting on a plane at this hour. We're all Gonna going. Lock my doors, but try it anyway. <laughs> Don't, don't put that. Now, it's okay to uh, post the pictures once you're there because nobody necessarily knows. It doesn't mean that you're there right now. You, you could have been check there into three places weeks ago. after. Yes. Yeah. So just be aware of those things. You know, I know people like to show off brand new cars, brand new, all of those kinds of things. But please be aware of those people who are watching because that is still considered mm-hmm. private information. Agreed. So just, you know. Just be careful and, and think about how much you want other people to know. Be a grown-up online. Be smart, guys. Be a grown-up. Adulting 101. We're starting right here with socializing. Okay. Okay? You agree, oh, DJ Wilco? I agree 100%. Well, right. you just got a new Instagram, so now you've got all these tips. Now you got all the yeah. rules. you got the handbook. I'm ready. You better I'm write ready. them down. Not everybody got the handbook when they first That's started true. their this little baby true. Instagram account. You all, all right. just took off the training wheels. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, you know, I heard on the radio tonight, actually on the way over, that... This won't matter to these two, but maybe it will. Officially, there is like meaning from the books, from like the internet completely. Mm. MySpace is no longer oh, even a footprint. Wow. Oh, it's gone. MySpace got erased. It's oh. gone. It's officially I feel like, I like had really cute the photos last on there. person Damn. on. It is officially like gone and having, fully deactivated. I remember having MySpace. MySpace. You could go to your page and it would have your it. music. I never understood yeah. it. And I was I like, this is what I'm feeling it. today. Or you could be like mad at a boy and be like, I'm the best bitch in town. And they'd have to listen to that every time I went to your page. <laughs> <laughs> or am I the only one that did that? <laughs> yes. I didn't get Maybe. into it too much. <laughs> yes. I, I feel like the fact that it has not left a mark. I don't yeah. know. I just, I don't it's think sad. it was a little it bit, It is right? a little bit sad, but I think like just how relevant was it? Yeah. Are you kidding? It left a huge mark in my it life. It just came at the wrong time. It I just did. think it just, it just, it, it yeah. was too early. a little early and a little yeah. late. I MySpace did. was supposed yeah, to be the so Facebook side. It, it is, it, it is what it is. But you know what is still around? Good things, DC. Yes, it is. And Doing we good are things. here every week, 8 p.m., yep. right here at listenvisionlive.com. Monday, fun day. Yes, yes. Monday. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But um, it's been a great night. Thank you for watching. Yeah. We love y'all so We much. love you guys. We do love you. And you know what? We will be right back here live next week, 8 p.m. So check us out. And uh, again, if you need to catch up on some prior episodes, you subscribe, to, subscribe to, YouTube. to YouTube. Yes. Do like it. it. Share it. Yep. Comment. All that stuff. We if you love talking to, to you guys. If you see all of my good hair, go to YouTube. Oh, my <laughs> good hair. Tonight's not my best, but it's not my worst. I think you look so adorable. All the Thanks, time. Thanks, All the time. But you know what? 
DJ Wilfo, something that, uh, you know, we want people to always know that we are a family here. Yep. And uh, we, we, we love all of you guys for supporting us, watching us, tuning in, and just being a part of the Good Things brand. And guess what? Good Things is officially a business, and we are officially branded. And so we can't wait to expand and share those things with you guys. But we have so much in store, right? AKA so much. Good Things coming. Lots of it. But... We want you guys to have a great week. So go out there and do what you do. But as always, love one another. Always be kind. And of course, do good things. Have a great week. Thank you.